Well, with four divisions down, we are halfway through the divisions and just about halfway through this series, so let's just keep on chugging along in this way too early prediction series by predicting the AFC South. All right, so let's go ahead and start things off here with the Houston Texans, who had a very promising 2023 season. Can they build upon it with a slightly tougher schedule this year? Let's go ahead and find out. At home, I have the Texans beating the Colts, beating the Jaguars, beating the Titans, beating the Bills, beating the Bears, losing to the Lions, beating the Dolphins, and beating the Ravens. On the road, I have this team losing to the Colts, losing to the Jaguars, beating the Titans, beating the Packers, beating the Vikings, beating the Patriots, beating the Jets, losing to the Chiefs, and losing to the Cowboys. This, that means this team will finish up at 12-5, and five, which should be very competitive for the AFC South. Alright, moving right along to the Jacksonville Jaguars who had a historic collapse to the end of last season, meaning I'm probably not feeling as high on them, but how do I think they do in 2024? Let's find out. At home, I have the Jaguars beating the Texans, beating the Colts, beating the Titans, losing to the Packers, beating the Vikings, beating the Patriots, losing to the Jets, and beating the Browns. On the road, I have the Jaguars losing to the Texans, losing to the Colts, losing to the Titans, losing to the Bills, losing to the Bears, Losing to the Lions, beating the Dolphins, losing to the Raiders, and losing to the Eagles. This team will finish off at 7-10, and 10, and considering the AFC South is getting more difficult with the rise of Anthony Richardson and C.J. Stroud, that might not be good enough at all to be close in this division. Moving on now to the Indianapolis Colts. Speaking of Anthony Richardson, how can they fare with a fully healthy Anthony Richardson for a full season? Let's find out. At home, I have the Colts. Beating the Texans, beating the Jaguars, beating the Titans, losing to the Bills, beating the Bears, losing to the Lions, beating the Dolphins, and beating the Steelers. On the road, I have this team losing to the Texans, losing to the Jaguars, beating the Titans, beating the Packers, losing to the Vikings, losing to the Patriots, beating the Jets, beating the Broncos, and beating the Giants. That finishes the Colts at 11-6, and a full game behind the Texans, but very competitive as any of these games could very well flip. And last but not least, well, maybe certainly least, for teams that we're predicting for this video, let's go ahead and talk about the Tennessee Titans. The Titans do have a young quarterback in Will Levis, but they don't seem to have a lot of talent around him. Derrick Henry seeming like he might be leaving in free agency, at least based off of how he took his last game in Nissan Stadium. So let's see how they fare with that all in consideration. At home, I have the Titans losing to the Texans, losing to the Colts, beating the Jaguars, beating the Packers, beating the Vikings, losing to the Patriots, losing to the Jets, and losing to the Bengals. On the road, I have the Titans losing to the Texans, losing to the Colts, losing to the Jaguars, losing to the Bills, losing to the Bears, losing to the Lions, losing to the Dolphins, losing to the Chargers, and beating the Commanders. Am I maybe a little bit too low on the Titans? I very well could be, but at the same time, I am just not sold on this team quite yet, especially considering the lack of weapons around their young rookie quarterback right now. Alright, so if these predictions actually pan out, how will the AFC South look like? Well, at the very bottom, we would have the Titans at 4-13, and third place would be the Jaguars at 7-10, and second place would be the Colts at 11-6, and and first place would be the Houston Texans, yet again, at 12-5. and I really like these predictions, I really feel like this is a very possibility, very good possibility, and I really feel like even if the numbers are a little bit off, I still think I like the ranking of the division that I have. I feel like the Texans and Colts are going to be fighting it out for the top two this year. So I really feel like these predictions are going to be solid, but who knows? A lot could change. We'll revisit these later on and see how we did. All right, well, that's about going to do it for me today. If you guys did like, don't forget to smash like and subscribe as it does help me out a whole lot. It tells me that I'm making content that y'all enjoy. Also, massive shout out to all you who tuned in, I should say, to the top half of my full 32 team power rankings. That was insane watching it over the last few days. The video just completely exploding out of nowhere. It was absolutely awesome to witness. So, you know, huge shout out to all you guys. And also, I guess that I'll see you guys later, probably Monday, either Monday or Tuesday for the NFC South Way Too Early Predictions. And with that, I'll see you guys later. Peace out and have a good one.